A major shakeup in state politics was made official today. Flanked by members of her new party, State Representative Tricia Cotham announced she is now a Republican. What will this shift in parties mean for legislation in North Carolina? Lena Tillett is here with a look at what Cotham's influence could have on abortion access here. Lena. Gerald, Representative Cotham has been a proponent of abortion access throughout her first five terms in the state house. She ran on it in the last election and in January of this year, co-sponsored a bill that would protect abortion access in our state. Today, with a new party, her stance wasn't clear. Yesterday, she wore blue. Today, it was red as Trisha Cotham made her switch from the Democratic Party to the GOP. I have decided to change my party affiliation, joining the Republican Party, and have been welcomed with open arms by my colleagues. Some constituents who voted for the six-time state representative from Mecklenburg County as a Democrat we want to know how she'll vote this. now. Her voters deserve to know right now where she stands on abortion access in this state. Her voters deserve to know right now. When state house lawmakers voted to extend the wait time for getting an abortion from one to three days eight years ago, Cotham spoke out against it, citing her own personal experience of a physician-assisted abortion of a non-viable fetus. My womb and my uterus is not up for your political grab. Legislators, you, do not hold shares in my body. So stop trying to manipulate my mind. When asked how she'll vote on the issue now, Cotham was less certain. I'm going to look inside and I'm going to pray on this issue. And I know that's where I will find the answer. And for many of her voters, they say not knowing is disconcerting. GOP leaders, meanwhile, say they expect to have new abortion legislation in the coming weeks. Gerald. Thank you, Lena.